Ever wonder how companies manage to dodge price-fixing laws without breaking a single rule on paper? The answer lies in the clever use of algorithms, data sharing, and mathematical loopholes that redefine the game. In this video, we're diving deep into how corporations have turned math into a tool for profit manipulation while staying just on the right side of the law. If you're ready to uncover the hidden tricks behind the scenes, stick around and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's decode the math behind corporate strategies together. 1. The Power of Algorithms in Price Fixing Companies have discovered that algorithms can be used not only to optimize their pricing strategies, but also to manipulate them in ways that skirt around price-fixing laws. By using complex mathematical models, companies can set prices that appear independent of each other, but are effectively coordinated. These algorithms can adjust in real-time based on data from competitors, creating an illusion of competition while secretly aligning prices. This method avoids traditional collusion, where companies directly agree on prices, but still achieves the same outcome higher prices for consumers. 2. The Role of Data Sharing in Price Coordination One of the primary ways companies can cheat price-fixing laws is through the sharing of data, often facilitated by third-party firms. By gathering and analyzing market data, companies can gain insights into competitors' pricing strategies without directly communicating with them. This creates an environment where companies adjust their prices in parallel, based on what their competitors are doing. Although this practice doesn't involve direct contact or explicit agreements, it leads to an effective form of price coordination. These data-sharing arrangements are often legal, as they don't explicitly breach price-fixing laws, yet they can have the same impact as collusion. 3. Machine Learning and Predictive Pricing Models Machine learning and AI have taken pricing strategies to the next level. By using vast amounts of data, companies can now predict competitor behavior with incredible accuracy and adjust their prices accordingly. These predictive pricing models rely on historical pricing patterns, customer behavior, and competitor actions to set future prices. While this may sound like a legitimate business practice, the results often mimic collusion as companies adjust prices in sync without ever directly communicating. The sophistication of these models makes it harder for regulators to distinguish between competitive pricing and illegal price fixing. 4. The Legal Gray Area of Dynamic Pricing Dynamic pricing, where prices change in real time based on demand and competition, has become a standard practice in many industries. While this pricing strategy can be legitimate, when combined with data sharing or algorithms that track competitors' prices, it can easily slip into anti-competitive territory. Companies can adjust their prices based on what their competitors are doing without directly coordinating with them, creating a de facto price-fixing system. This can be especially problematic in industries like airlines, hotels, and e-commerce, where dynamic pricing is common. 5. Algorithmic Collusion – The Unseen Threat While traditional price-fixing involves explicit agreements between competitors, algorithmic collusion happens without any direct interaction. Companies use algorithms to set prices based on market data, and when those algorithms are programmed to respond to each other's prices, it results in coordinated price hikes. This is what is known as tacit collusion, where the market moves in sync, even though no one is directly talking to each other. It's a gray area that's hard to regulate because, on the surface, there is no clear evidence of a conspiracy. 6. The Economics of Price Discrimination Price Discrimination where companies charge different prices for the same product based on consumer behavior or purchasing patterns is a technique that's increasingly supported by advanced algorithms. While price discrimination itself isn't illegal, it can be used in conjunction with other tactics to mimic price fixing. Companies can use algorithms to identify consumers' willingness to pay and adjust their prices accordingly. This creates a scenario where different consumers are charged different prices, but the overall effect is that prices are artificially high for everyone. When coupled with tacit collusion, this practice can lead to anti-competitive outcomes as companies can subtly coordinate pricing strategies to maximize profits without directly communicating with each other. 7. The Impact of Algorithmic Pricing on Consumers the primary victim of algorithmic pricing and price manipulation is the consumer. While companies benefit from higher profit margins, consumers are left paying inflated prices. 
These pricing strategies, while legal in many cases, can result in a less competitive market and a higher cost of living. For example, when companies use algorithms to adjust their prices in response to competitors, the overall effect is a lack of price variation in the market, which reduces consumer choice. Instead of finding better deals, consumers are stuck with a set price range that is manipulated by companies using math to their advantage. This undermines the very essence of free market competition, where consumers should benefit from price competition and innovation. 8. The Challenges of Regulating Algorithmic Pricing One of the main issues with regulating price-fixing laws in the age of algorithms is the sheer complexity and speed of these pricing models. Algorithms can change prices in real time based on a variety of inputs, including competitor prices, consumer demand, and market trends. This makes it difficult for regulators to track and enforce fair pricing practices. Moreover, since there is no direct communication or formal agreement between companies, proving that price fixing has occurred is nearly impossible. Regulatory bodies are often behind the curve when it comes to understanding and tracking these technological advancements. 9. The Role of Antitrust Laws in the Digital Age Antitrust laws were originally designed to prevent monopolies and ensure competition in the marketplace. However, in the digital age, these laws are increasingly being challenged by new business practices like algorithmic pricing. While traditional price fixing is clearly illegal, algorithmic pricing and tacit collusion fall into a gray area. Authorities are grappling with how to adapt antitrust laws to address these new methods of market manipulation. The complexity of the digital economy, with its reliance on data, algorithms, and automation, requires a complete overhaul of existing regulations. 10. The Future of Price Fixing in the Age of Math As technology continues to evolve, the future of price fixing will likely be shaped by increasingly sophisticated algorithms and data analytics. Companies will continue to find new ways to manipulate prices using math and technology without ever explicitly colluding. This could lead to even greater market concentration, where a few companies control the pricing in entire industries without consumers or regulators being able to detect it. The challenge for lawmakers will be to stay ahead of technological advancements and create laws that account for the growing role of algorithms in business practices. Thanks for watching. Today, we've uncovered how companies are using math, algorithms, and data to cleverly sidestep price fixing laws, raising serious questions about fairness in the marketplace. While these strategies may be legal, they certainly don't feel like true competition, and they leave consumers paying the price. What do you think? Are regulations keeping up with these new tactics, or is the system too far behind? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.